Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be talking about important current affairs of 29th of september the session is very important so do pay attention till the end also friends yesterday i gave you some homework questions here shreya has given all the correct answers for those questions so congratulations shreya and best of luck for your future We'll start with one-liners and then we'll proceed to the important news of the day. The first news that we are discussing is Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand's Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched Milk Price Incentive Scheme. Question can be asked directly that Milk Price Incentive Scheme was of which state? It was of Uttarakhand. Then Niti Aayog launched e Savari, e Savari India Electric Bus Coalition with CESL and WRI India. Also remember Niti Aayog was the institute or this was the organization that has released a report that stated that India is spending the least amount of money in research and development per capita. Then if we talk about research and development, Karnataka is the best state for it and Karnataka was the only state that adopted this research and development policy. ATEL, ATEL partnered with Invest India to launch ATEL India Startup Innovation Challenge. Fortune India's most powerful women in India list for 2021. It was Nirmala Sitaraman that has stopped here. All right, India's Fortune India's most powerful women in India for 2021. Then Niti Aayog established 1000 Atal Tinkering Labs where in Jammu and Kashmir. Next, Maharashtra. Maharashtra topped the list of the state with maximum of beneficiaries under Atam Nirbhar Bharat Rojgar Abhiyan. So under this Atam Nirbhar Bharat Rojgar Yojana, which state topped? It was Maharashtra. Delhi Police has launched e-learning platform Unnati to scale the school dropouts. Then Smile was also a scheme launched here itself. And what was the aim of Smile? To remove the people or to remove the transgenders who were engaged in the act of begging and provide them with a better life. That provide them with education, provide them with shelter, provide them with food health, medical benefits, uh, benefits and everything. All right. And it was smile scheme. Question can be asked that smile scheme was related to whom it was related to transgenders. Then first drone mela, where was that held? Where this was held in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. Biggest drone mela was held in New Delhi. All right. It was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Similarly, if I ask you Semicon India, where was this held? Semicon India was held in Bangalore. And if I ask you, which state has been provided with the 
सेमी कंडक्टर मैनुफैक्चरिंग पॉलिसी इट वॉज योर गुजरात सो इन गुजरात दी सेमी कंडक्टर्स विल बी मैनुफैक्चर्ड एंड फॉर दिस विच टू ऑर्गनाइजेशन केम टूगेदर एंड साइंड एन एम ओ यू इट वॉज वेदांता एंड फॉक्सकॉन देन गवर्नमेंट लेड फाउंडेशन स्टोन फॉर माँ उमिया धाम डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट इन अहमदाबाद गुजरात ओडिशा इंक एग्रीमेंट विद यू एन सी डी एफ टू लॉन्च मिशन शक्ति लिविंग लैब फॉर फाइनेंशियल एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ वीमेन एसकट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इन उत्तराखंड डिक्लेयर एज द इको सेंसिटिव जोन नेक्स्ट ऑलैफ श्लोस अपॉइंटेड एज द जर्मनीज न्यू चांसलर एशिया पावर इंडेक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इंडिया हेयर रैंक एज द फोर्थ मास्ट मोस्ट पावरफुल कंट्री इन एशिया देन फॉर्ब्स लिस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉज रिलीज दैट इज ऑफ वर्ल्ड हंड्रेड मोस्ट पावरफुल वीमेन एंड दिस फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतामन रैंक थर्टी सेवन एंड इफ वी आर टॉक दिस इज अबाउट द वर्ल्ड एंड इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया निर्मला सीतारमन वॉज रैंक एज द मोस्ट पावरफुल वीमेन इन इंडिया ऑल राइट एंड हेयर फाल्गुनी नैयर हु इज द फाउंडर एंड को फाउंडर ऑफ नाइका वॉज रैंक एटी एट देन वर्ल्ड इन इक्वेलिटी रिपोर्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉज रिलीज वेयर द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया अमंग द मोस्ट अनइक्वल कंट्रीज देन इंडिया अज्यूम द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ काउंसिल ऑफ रीजनल एंटी टेरिस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एस सी ओ वर्ल्ड टैलेंट रैंकिंग रिपोर्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉज रिलीज एंड हेयर द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया वॉज फिफ्टी सिक्स फॉलोड बाई स्विट्जरलैंड ऑन द फर्स्ट पोजिशन सो इन वर्ल्ड टैलेंट रैंकिंग रिपोर्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन द स्टे कंट्री दैट इज स्टॉप हेयर इज स्विट्जरलैंड ऑल राइट वन मोर थिंग फ्रेंड्स दैट आई नीड टू टेल यू रिगार्डिंग द कंटेंट दैट वी प्रोवाइड यू से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू पॉकेट वाइज पी डी एफ वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू टॉपिक वाइज करंट अफेयर्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू वीकली करंट अफेयर्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू मंथली करंट अफेयर्स पी डी एफ ऑल्सो टॉप हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन पी डी एफ सो रिमेंबर पॉकेट वाइज पॉकेट पी डी एफ एंड यूर टॉपिक वाइज पी डी एफ दे विल बी रिलीज ऑन द सेवेंथ ऑफ एवरी मंथ ऑल राइट ऑन द सेवेंथ देन वीकली दे आर प्रोवाइडेड टू यू एवरी सेवन डेज ऑल राइट वी मेक श्योर दैट एवरी सेवन डेज यू आर प्रोवाइडेड विद वीकली करंट अफेयर्स फॉर मंथली एंड टॉप हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन रिमेंबर ऑन टेंथ ऑफ एवरी मंथ और बिफोर द टेंथ ऑफ एवरी मंथ यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद द मंथली करंट अफेयर्स पी डी एफ ऑल राइट फ्रेंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू मैंशन हेयर इज दैट वी प्रोवाइड कंटेंट इन इंग्लिश एज वेल एज इन हिंदी to all the students who are looking for the content of pdf in hindi because i have seen many times the students are asking for hindi pdf the content in hindi so students for those students those who are looking for hindi content you can check our careers cloud application from where you can download the uh, from the google store you can download the app and from that particular application careers cloud application you will be able to see various courses that are offered by us and in those courses we offer you hindi pdf along with english content also all right so the students those who are aiming for hindi content they can definitely check our hindi pdfs also that are provided on the courses that are offered by us on our careers cloud application and another information to all our students and viewers that remember friends when you are preparing for ibps rrb you need to understand that our content that we provide you on our application you will be seeing various different kinds of pd pdfs that will be very beneficial for you for the preparation of this particular exam the content that is provided by us is up to the mark it is top notch content all right when you will be going through the content not just that content if you are also watching our videos and you are then going for the revision in our careers cloud application then you will realize that the process of learning that you are going through first you are watching the video then you are making notes then after that you are going for attempting the quiz also you are reading the pdf that we are providing so this whole process this whole journey will be very beneficial for you and along with the current affairs along with the questions that we are providing for ibps exams are very beneficial to all the students so i'll highly recommend to go and check this exam pdf that will be very 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 beneficial to all the students and i assure you that the material that is provided there is top notch so these are all your revision important current affairs now it's time for moving on to our current news the first news that we are talking about is center for development telematics that is c dot and iit delhi that is indian institute of technology delhi has signed a memorandum of understanding for cooperation in various emerging areas of telecom including iot machine learning ai 
all right all these this machine to machine cyber security 5g and beyond technologies were done here what is the basic aim here like uh, for example if we take any example of a drone all right we have to control the drone wirelessly a person sitting in a room will be able to control the drone wirelessly with the help of a bluetooth or uh, Wi-Fi, all right, because there is no wire attached to the drone and the remote. So, you know, this is an example. So, how we are able to achieve this? This is done with the help of research and development. When any innovation is done in the particular part, so then only we are able to see the results of it. Say, for example, if we are talking about drones, then if we are talking about missiles, then if we are talking about satellites, then we are talking about NAVIC. What is NAVIC? NAVIC is our own gps so what how we were able to achieve this this was able to be achieved because of the collaboration of various students various peoples various scientists various industrialists all right when entrepreneurs when they came together and when they decided to launch this product even the government's involvement was very necessary for this product so what are these whenever there is an uh, uh, partnership between industry and institute when there is any institute any a research institute any college or any university when these are included they develop things that will be helping the generation to move forward they will helping to for coming up with various development projects all right so the basic aim for this mou between c dot and iit delhi is to create a framework that will foster a mutually productive framework between the academic institutions and research and development organizations in order to promote the development of the wholly indigenous telecom solutions the center of here you can see c dot and iit delhi signed an mou for collaboration in the several areas of telecom including iot m2m machine to machine ai machine learning cyber security 5g and beyond technologies all right so remember these two mou then here you can see this mou will serve as an effective forum for the exchange of knowledge skills among students faculty researchers from the stage of ideation and conceptualization that means once the idea has been conceptualized so from that particular st uh, stage to make that project in reality this whole step will be carried out here the fusion of cutting edge research and academic excellence will increase the value of nation's intellectual property assets moving on next next we are talking about department of empowerment of persons with disability that is your depwd and sector skill council with for persons with disability and your third organization is amazon internet Le private limited these three organizations came together as and signed a tripartite mou the reason here of this mou is to provide skill and training to the uh, and to provide skill and training as well as employment opportunities for the persons with disabilities and this will be done at the dr ambedkar international center that is in new delhi i repeat department of empowerment of persons with disability sector skill council for persons with disability and amazon internet private limited these three organizations signed a tripartite mou so that as amazon will be providing skills to these disabled persons and on the basis of that they will be also providing them with employment opportunities and this will be done at what location location is important dr ambedkar international center in new delhi moving on to the next news friends next we are talking about uttar pradesh government has approved the first tiger reserve in the bundelkhand region highly important we will be discussing about this remember first of all tell me when was your tiger protection act came tiger protection act 1973 then remember in 1973 only chipko movement was also launched so coming back here remember it was your uttar pradesh government that has launched the first tiger reserve in the bundelkhand region and it was to promote the tiger conservation in the uttar pradesh then remember the cabinet approved the decision to designate ranipur tiger reserve under this wildlife protection act that came in 1972 this important this is also important this wildlife protection act then remember we procured eight cheetahs from where it we procured them from namibia where they will be kept in kuno national park where is this kuno national park it is in madhya pradesh then remember in order to protect these cheetahs from the wildlife animals in that particular national park some uh, dogs will also german shepherds will also be trained so that that they will be keeping them safe from different animals all right 
सो रिकमिंग बैक इट वॉज उत्तर प्रदेश दैट एज रिसेंटली अप्रूव द फर्स्ट टाइगर रिजर्व इन द बुंदेलखंड रीजन टू प्रमोट द टाइगर कंजर्वेशन इन यूपी एंड वेन वॉज योर टाइगर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट लॉन्च इट वॉज इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू इट वॉज योर वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट वॉज लॉन्च एंड इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री ओनली चिपको मूवमेंट वॉज लॉन्च बाय ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस देन रिमेंबर दिस विल बी द उत्तर प्रदेश फोर्थ टाइगर रिजर्व फॉलोइंग दुधवा टाइगर रिजर्व पिलीभिट टाइगर रिजर्व देन अमनगढ़ टाइगर रिजर्व एंड नाउ फोर्थ विल बी योर रानीपुर टाइगर रिजर्व मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट न्यूज इज रिगार्डिंग महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र कैबिनेट अप्रूव द नेमिंग ऑफ चिपी एयरपोर्ट आफ्टर बैरिस्टर नाथ पाई आई रिपीट महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट हैज रिसेंटली चेयर बाय चीफ मिनिस्टर एक नाथ शिंदे अप्रूव द नेम ऑफ द चिपी ग्रीनफील्ड एयरपोर्ट इन द सिंधुगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट आफ्टर अ प्रोमिनेंट सोशल लीडर फ्रीडम फाइटर एंड फॉर्मर मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट बरिस्टर नाथ पाई जी दिस चिप एयरपोर्ट वॉज फॉर्मली इनोग्रेटेड ऑन मार्च फिफ्थ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन All right. It is located in Vengrula. It is 27 kilometers away from Mumbai Goa Highway. Also remember, 25th September 2022. It marks the birth centenary of the year Natha Bapu Pai. He was born on 25th September in 1970. One in Maharashtra itself. All right. Mark this. So this Chippy Airport will be named after Barrister Nath Pai Ji. Similarly, we remember that Rajpath was named to Kartavya. But this Rajpath was also known as earlier as Kingsway. Next, ICOA, that is your International Civil Aviation Organization, has recently signed an MOU with International Solar Alliance, that is your ISA. This was a project that was between India and uh, it was between India and. France the next thing you need to remember this was launched in the year 2015 the headquarter of this is in Gurugram Haryana all right so i c a o india uh, and the international civil aviation organization i repeat isa uh, and your international civil aviation organization this i c a o and your isa has recently signed a memorandum of understanding all right and this was done during the 42nd session of the icoa assembly in the montreal canada but what is the reason of this it is to check the growth of co2 emissions in the aviation sector and to reduce carbon emission i repeat this specifically this was that is your international civil aviation organization and isa recently signed this mou so that they can check the emission of carbon dioxide into the aviation sector and help to plan and come up with technologies and framework to reduce that particular carbon emission similarly we talk about carbon emission which is the airport in india that became carbon neutral that was your indira gandhi international airport and it was in new delhi and that uh, not carbon neutral this is the airport that started using the renewable sources of energy such as hydrogen uh, such as hydroelectricity and solar energy so and also the indira gandhi international airport pledges or they aims to become carbon neutral by the year 2030 all right apart from this remember if we talk about india's target india set net zero carbon goals in 2070 that means this is the target year that was set during cop 26 india also set to target the installing of 175 gigawatt of renewable energy of which 100 gigawatt uh, gigawatt will be solar energy by 2022 and reduction in emission intensity by 33% to 35% by 2030 also remember cochin international airport in india became the world's first fully solar powered airport in the world by the year 2020 Uh, by in the year 2050 all right so remember this information also all right moving on if we talk about international uh, i c a o that is international civil aviation organization can you tell me who is the secretary general juan carlos salazar this was established in 1944 and montreal canada is the headquarter of this if we talk about international solar alliance remember dr ajay mathur is the current director general of international solar alliance moving on friends next next we are talking about indian naval ship sunayana all right sunayana 
this has participated in the combined maritime forces exercise that was held recently at Seychelles. All right, highly important. So here you can see the Indian naval ship Sunayana recently participated in the capacity building exercise that was in the operation Southern Readiness conducted by the combined maritime forces at Seychelles that was happened between 24th of September to 27th of September. So the name of this Indian naval ship is INS Sunayana. Highly important, take a note of this. All right. Also remember this Sunayana is the second Saryu class naval offshore petrol vessel that is your NOPV and OPV is your offshore petrol vessel and this is your naval offshore petrol vessel that was commissioned by Vice Admiral Satoshi Sony, a flag officer commanding in the chief of Chief, uh, commanding in chief for Southern Naval Command at Kochi in October 2013. This was developed by Goa Shipyards Limited. All right, and the speed of this uh, Indian naval ship is around 25 knots. And we know knots. This is the speed that is measured in uh, oceans or seas. So coming back, it was your Indian naval ship. Sunayana that participated in the maritime exercise that was held or conducted by she cells. Next, if we talk here, you can see INS Sunayana is a second Saryu class naval offshore patrol vessel that was commissioned by Vice Admiral Sito Satishi Soni, a flag officer commanding in chief for the Southern and Naval Command, and this was commissioned in October 2013, developed by shipyards limited that is indigenously developed by it and remember if we talk about the highlights this event was coordinated as a part of distinguished visitors demonstration and was witnessed by Vevel Ram Kalavan the president of the Republic of Seychelles along with other seniors members of the country of the CMF moving on to some banking news now recently UB partner with SBI to enable higher credit access to priority sector I repeat Fintech, that is your finance and technology unicorn, UB, formerly that was Cred Avenue. This UB was earlier known as Cred Avenue, has partnered with SBI to help in the growth of the bank's co lending portfolio. That means, as per the partnership, SBI will be integrated with UB Co Lend, the lending platform of UB that provides an end to end solutions and enable the lenders to collaborate with multiple partners with a quick one time application program integration. Also, some of the key points that you need to remember here is that this partnership will facilitate seamless, faster and higher credit to the priority sector and this will reduce the countrywide credit gap. Also, it is expected that the collaboration will unlock $1 trillion in capital for the priority sector lending in the tier 2, 3, 4 cities, small enterprises and farmers itself. Next, next remember friends, uh, if we talk about SBI. Who is the chairman? Dinesh Kumar Kharaji. Where is the headquarter? Mumbai, Maharashtra. And if we talk about UB, that was earlier known as Cred Avenue. Who is the founder and CEO? Gaurav Kumar. And where is the headquarter? It is in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Next, next is ADB. That is your Asian Development Bank will be funding $14 billion for food security in Asia Pacific. I repeat, Asian Development Bank will be funding around $14 billion for food security in the Asia Pacific region. This during the 55th annual meeting of the Asian Development Bank that was held in Manila, Philippines, which was the first partial in person annual meeting since 2019. During this meeting, Asian Development Bank announced to fund at least $14 billion between the year 2022 to 2025 as an aid in easing the food crisis in the Asia Pacific for providing food security. All right, this was done in the Asian Development Outlooks report of September 2022 update that is entrepreneurship in the digital age. Also, they have revised down the forecast for the 2022 for developing Asia and Pacific to 4.3% that was earlier estimated to be around 5.2% in April. All right. If we talk about Asian Development Bank, who is the president? Masasugu Asakawa. This headquarter where it is? It is in Manila, Philippines. And there are 68 member countries a part of this Asian Development Bank. 49 are from Asia and Pacific and 19 are from different parts of the world. All right. Next. Next. 
BOB that is your Bank of Baroda has rolled out Khushiyon ka tohar as the festive season began. Remember directly question will be asked that Khushiyon ka tohar this was a festive campaign launched by which bank it was launched by Bank of Baroda. Also remember this will include attractive interest loans, home loans, car loans in addition to the discount on processing charges and other benefits. Also remember in addition to the offers customers will also have an opportunity to earn higher interest with the Baroda Tiranga deposit scheme all right that means they are launching their own deposit scheme itself apart from this bank of Baroda's home loans are available at a competitive interest rate beginning at 7.95 percent per annum with no processing charges and the car loans are available at a special rate starting from 7.95 percent per annum with a concession of 25 basis points all right highly important moving on if we talk about Broda, this Broda Tiranga deposit scheme. Here it is a special fixed deposit scheme that offers an interest rate and is available in two types of tenure that include interest rate of up to 5.75% per annum for 5.75 per annum for 444 days and 6% per annum for 555 days. All right, highly important. Also remember if we are talking about senior citizens, they will be provided with an extra 0.5% interest per annum. Next, next we are talking about Yes Bank. Remember Yes Bank and Yuko Bank. Just this is a different news friends. So Yes Bank and Yuko Bank has recently partnered with two Russian banks for undertaking businesses with Russia. Yuko Bank has tied up with Gazprom Bank and the Yes Bank has signed an agreement with Petersburg Social Commercial Bank of Russia. I repeat, this agreement took place after the Reserve Bank of India followed the allowed the foreign payments through special Vostro accounts. And I have discussed this is what are Vostro accounts, what are Nostro accounts. Vostro accounts are basically that account that different companies from different countries will be able to open their bank account in the branch of the bank in India. All right, that means different country companies will be opening their account in our bank in India. So this is Vostro and if we are talking about Nostro that Indian companies are opening their account into the bank of different country where we want to do the trade. All right, highly important. So it was Yes Bank and Yuko Bank that has partnered with two Russian banks for undertaking business with Russia. All right. And why we are taking this step because of the all the economic sanctions that were imposed on Russia for its friction with Ukraine and Indian exporters are gaining opportunity to take the businesses with Russia. As we know, all the big companies are moving out of Russia of that are off from West. But India being a friend wants to extend their hand and Indian entrepreneurs as businessmen want to take opportunity all, all right and want to start and increase their business in Russia. Next. Next is Samsung India Axis Bank. They have launched a co-branded credit card, Visa Signature and Visa Infinite. I repeat, we are talking about co-branded credit card and the name is Visa Signature and Visa Infinite. As you can see from these two credit cards shown in the picture and this tie up was done between Samsung India and Axis Bank. And this 10% cashback on every purchase of the Samsung product will be provided and you can easily convert that into EMI that is your equated monthly income that means you can pay the portion every month. Moving on friends to the next news. Next we are talking about MasterCard. MasterCard is set to launch carbon calculator for Indian consumers. MasterCard will launch its carbon calculator feature that will offer consumers with an estimated carbon footprint every time they purchase something. MasterCard carbon calculator, this will be a game. It can be a game changer because it will help us to keep track of the how much amount of carbon will be used if you are purchasing a certain product. This was developed in collaboration with Swedish fintech Dokomoni, that is Dokonomi is currently used in over 25 countries all around the world. Banking partners can embed the tracking tool in their website or mobile applications. All right. Also, this carbon calculator tracker can drive the cumulative effect of carbon footprint across a variety of spending categories in a month. The feature also provides access to insights and data about the environmental impact. Next news. Next is Muthoot Finance has tied up with Lulu International Exchange for gold loan repayment. Directly remember this. All right. 
नेक्स्ट न्यूज एमेजॉन इंडिया हैज लॉन्च एमेज विट सर्कल्स आई रिपीट रिसेंटली एमेजॉन इंडिया हैज लॉन्च एमेज वे आई टी डब्ल्यू आई टी सर्कल्स तो एमेज विट सर्कल्स विच इज अक नेटवर्किंग एंड वर्चुअल इवेंट टू एजुकेट द वीमेन एंड प्रिपेयर दम फॉर करियर्स इन टेक्नोलॉजी सो वी कैन से इट इज अ स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम ऑल राइट एंड द नेम इज एमेज विट सर्कल्स लॉन्च बाई होम लॉन्च बाय एमेजॉन इंडिया एंड वॉट दे विल बी डूइंग दे विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग स्किल्स टू द वीमेन्स इन द टेक्नोलॉजी सेक्टर सो दैट दे कैन गो एंड अप्लाई फॉर द एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड इट विल बी ईजी फॉर दैम टू गो फॉर द बेटर जॉब्स इन द टेक्नोलॉजी सेक्टर All right. So, Amazwit Circles will help women in enhancing their skills and provide leadership sessions focusing on the topics ranging from data structures, coding, algorithm, algorithms, and many more. Next news. Next, we are talking about some awards. Kumar Sanu, Shailendra Singh, and Anand Milind. They have received the. Lata Mangeshkar Award recently, highly important. Shailendra Singh is honored with the Lata Mangeshkar Award for 2019 for his distinct voice from 1970 to 80. Anand Milind honored with the Lata Mangeshkar Award for 2020 for composing music for over 200 films, and Kumar Sanu is honored with the Lata Mangeshkar Award for 2021 for his velvet voice to numerous popular songs in the 1990s. Highly important, friends. All right, then remember. The prestigious award is given on the birth anniversary of late legendary singer Lata Lang Mangeshkar ma'am at her birthplace and this award is presented in the state of Madhya Pradesh so to honor her this award was started and if we talk about this Lata Mangeshkar award it is a national level award instituted to honor the works in the field of music as we know she was a very famous musician and a singer All right so the state government of Madhya Pradesh has started this award in 1984 which consists of a certificate of merit and a cash prize and this cash prize is of 2 lakh rupees All right then remember when was Lata Mangeshkar ma'am born she was born in 1929 and she passed away in the month of February in 2020 to Moving on as you can see in the picture he the Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has been appointed as the Prime Minister. Highly important. So Mohammed bin Salman, a powerful Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia and son of King Salman bin Abdulaziz, has been named as the Prime Minister of the Kingdom by royal decree. The former Prime Minister King Salman bin Abdulaziz will continue to chair the cabinet meetings that he attends. All right. Highly important. Mark this. He is 37 years of age. He is also known by the name MBS. and is a member of the saudi royal family who served as the ministry of defense or uh, earlier to this post earlier to becoming the prime minister of saudi arabia he was serving as the minister of defense all right also he has already seen as the he was already seen as the de facto ruler of the saudi arabia and we know saudi arabia is, is an oil rich gulf state a very rich in oil next next news is regarding axis bank axis bank to pick up nearly 10% stake in the fairfax backed go digit life insurance all right axis bank that is the third largest private sector lender will sign a non binding term sheet to invest 49.9 crore rupees to 69.9 crore rupees for a 9.9% 9.94% stake in the ipo go bound go digit life insurance a firm backed by the canada based fairfax group so directly remember Recently, Axis Bank will pick up nearly 9.94 percent stake in the Fairfax Bank Go Digit Life Insurance through an IPO, and this will cost them around 50 to 70 crore rupees. And this payment will be made in two installment. Remember this also. Next, then Bank of Baroda, a uh, Bank of India, will acquire over 5.5 percent stake in ONDC. And what is ONDC? It is your open network for digital. commerce so bank of india will be acquiring 5.56% stake in open network for digital commerce for 10 crore rupees under the private placement route all right highly important another thing remember bank of india acquired 10 lakh equity shares for rupees 100 each in ondc and this transaction is expected to be completed by the second quarter of fiscal year 23 Next is Jaldoot application launched to enable monitoring of the groundwater table across the country. I repeat, question can be asked: What is the name of the app that will be launched to monitor the groundwater table across the country? And the name of the app is Jaldoot app. Highly important. All right. 
mark this this help will be used to use all around the india for monitoring the groundwater tables and help us to mark the water level of selected two to three wells in every village who developed this application this particular jaldut app it was developed by ministry of panchayati raj and ministry of rural development all right highly important they both together developed this jaldut application then next we are talking about drdo they will be testing recently a very short range air defense system i repeat they drdo will be testing very short range air defense system missile successfully and this was tested of the coast of chandipur that is of the coast of odisha that was in the integrated test range chandipur of the coast of odisha this very short range air defense system missile was tested from the ground based portable launcher at integrated test range chandipur of the coast of odisha so directly remember drdo tested it tested very short range air defense missile uh, system missile from where this was tested of the coast of odisha this was tested by whom it was tested by drdo next we are talking about navic i told you navic is india's home grown alternative to gps system and this navigation what is the full form of navic navigation with indian constellation is an indigenous independent stand alone navigation satellite system developed by isro all right and remember this project was launched earlier in the year 2006 and it was completed in the year 2018 and the indian government has stated that the smartphone makers to enable the navic navigation in the new devices that are being sold in india from 2023 because as of now we are using the gps and remember that is the reason indian wants that instead of the gps in the india the people should start using navic all right and what is the full form navigation with indian constellation next we are talking about World Rabies Day on twenty eighth of September we observed World Rabies Day, and this was the sixteenth edition of the World Rabies Day with the theme One Health Zero Death. Next, next is, and remember one more thing: if we are talking about rabies, what is the rabies caused? Because it is caused of a dog bite. All right. Next. next day is your international day for the universal access to information this day is annually observed across the globe on 28th of september to create the awareness regarding the need to expand the laws related to information all right this day is celebrated in uzbekistan on 28th and 29th of september also the theme here will be artificial intelligence e governance and access to information highly important next So that's all for the day, friends. Now let's go for a quick revision. C dot and IIT Delhi signed an MOU for cooperation in emerging areas of telecom. D E P W D N S C P W D N Amazon Internet signed a tripartite MOU to provide skills to the persons with disabilities. Then M O L that is your Minister of Labour and Employment released a report on the fourth round of quarterly employment survey. U P government approved the first tiger reserve in Bundelkhand region. Maharashtra cabinet approved the naming of the Chipi Airport after Barrister Nath Paiji. I C A O signed an M O U with I S A International Solar Alliance. I N S Suniyana participated in the combined maritime forces at Seychelles. UB has partnered with SBI to enable higher credit access to priority sector. Asian Development Bank will fund around 14 billion dollar in the upcoming 2022 to 2025 for the 2023 to 2025 for the food security in the Asia Pacific region. Then Bank of Baroda has launched Khushiyon ka tyohar festive season. Yuko Bank and Yes Bank has partnered with two Russian banks for the payment. then using the vostro accounts then samsung india and axis bank has launched co branded credit card mastercard to launch carbon calculator for indian consumers muthoot finance has tied up with lulu international exchange for gold loan repayment amazon india has launched amazon wit circles to upskill the women in the technology sector and give them opportunity for various jobs kumar sanu shilendra singh and Anand Milind will be getting the Lata Mangeshkar Award for 19, 20, and 21 years, respectively. Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia Mohammed bin Salman, also known by the name MBS, has been named as the Prime Minister. Axis Bank to acquire 9.94 percent stake in the Fairflex backed go-digit life insurance. Bank of India acquired 5.5 percent stake in the ONDC. Minister of State Fagan Singh Kulaste ji has launched. Jaldut application it is for monitoring of ground water tables across India. Next DRDO successfully tested very short range air defense system missile at ITR uh, integrated testing range at Chandipur of the coast of Odisha. Then Navic Indian government has uh, 
stated that all the smartphones that will be used after 2020 sold after 2023 will be having the navig instead of gps then world rabies day on 28th of september and international day for the universal access to information was launched on 2020 is observed on 28th of september so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day now it's time for homework first question what is the new target for reduction in parties particulate matter that is your pm concentration in cities under national clean air program by 2026 so tell me the target next is inventive it is an event which was seen in the news recently for what third national anti uh, national anti corruption commission bill is associated with which country fourth tamirpani river which was seen in the news is located in which state fifth Jaldoot app was launched by and developed by which ministry tell me these are your five homework question friends no cheating while commenting below and do the research all right that will helping you so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day. that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue